Hey YouTube, <clears throat> Anna here. So I am here to film my 15 week update. I cannot believe I'm 15 weeks. This is sort of insane for me. <clears throat> yeah, um, so let's just jump into symptoms. I haven't I don't have a lot to share with you this week, but my acne has gone <laughs> completely insane. And I think that has to do with stress, probably more than hormones, but my hormone hormones are definitely out of whack. Um, feeling a lot of nausea, especially when I don't eat. So I remember that with Cecilia. So yeah, I just, I'm feeling more nauseous than I did. I feel like in my first trimester, totally. Um, we've been house hunting, so I got really emotional. Um, not about houses. I feel very like detached from like buying houses. That's not like a, I enjoy house hunting and I like it, but it doesn't like, I've never found a house that I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm in love with this house, it's perfect. Like, I've always been like, I can, you know, create a home pretty much anywhere. <laughs> so we scheduled a big house hunting trip from 12 to two, which is exactly when Cecilia naps, like 11.30 to 1.30 is her nap time. So the day of, like the night before, I was like so stressed out. I was like, maybe I can force her to sleep, <laughs> all that stuff. And if you've tried to force your baby or your toddler once they get used to a routine, like that just doesn't happen. You can't force them to do that. Um, so I was really stressed out the night before and my husband's like, why don't you ask your best friend? <laughs> and I was like, why don't I ask my best friend? It's spring break here, like she's a teacher, so she's, Free. I mean, I didn't know if she had plans or whatever. So I was like, yeah, I should. Okay, that makes more sense. So the next morning I was like, oh, I know this is super last minute. And I explained like everything to her before I said like, will you babysit? And she was like, of course, we'd love to, her and her two girls. So I was like, oh God. So like, as soon as she said, of course, we'd love to, I just started bawling. Like it was such a relief. and. She was so amazing. So I just started bawling. I don't usually, like, I don't let many people watch Cecilia. There's like three people outside of my family that I feel comfortable letting her, <laughs> letting them watch Cecilia. And so since I'm so far away from family, I really don't like inconvenience inconveniencing people outside of my family. Um, I mean, I don't like inconveniencing my family either, but it's just like, it's a little easier to ask, like my in-laws, hey, will you babysit? <laughs> um, they always say that they would love to. So yeah, so I felt really emotional and I told her that like we have food for everyone. Um, she'll be asleep for most of the time. And so it's really like 30 minutes of like heavy duty interacting <laughs> with Cecilia. It ended up being like close to an hour's worth of um, entertaining her and her daughter's so good with my daughter <clears throat> who's like so her daughter's like nine and Cece's almost two and like she's just like full of energy and like able to like do all of the stuff that Cece really wants her to do and so they just they play hard and Cece gets so tired which is awesome um so I told her you know like that would be amazing you guys can watch movies whatever I really don't care I'm not like don't give my baby cake um, <laughs> that's pretty much all my my requirements don't like give her juice candy cake that's pretty much it um so got really emotional house hunting house hunting went well there's like two possibilities um, one is a huge fixer-upper which we've kind of ruled out one is like turnkey and totally move-in ready and definitely at the top of our price range so we're hoping for that one <laughs> um, earlier this week I felt like hardly any movement it was so infrequent and I kind of complained to my husband about it and he's like you know anterior placenta and all that stuff um, and then towards gender reveal time which was Thursday I started to feel 
movement like all the freaking time which is awesome um like especially when I just stop and pause and like wait for it it happens which is great and last night when I was falling asleep I put my hand on my belly and I was thinking that I was actually feeling the baby move which is kind of early for the outside feel but it could just be like I can feel it on the inside and I'm sort of like projecting <laughs> what that would be um we can find the heartbeat within like half a second it's really easy now to find the heartbeat and so strong high 150s sort of where where baby has landed um so gender reveal happened on thursday i had a dream when i the night before i found out with cecilia that she was a girl i had a dream we did it in disney world <clears throat> In front of like my in-laws Mickey Mouse like we did this big gender reveal and I had a dream that I had boy clothes in front of me and I was opening the presents and I was looking at all these boy things and my reaction was like sad and not happy which just sounds terrible because I've dealt with infertility for five years before I got Celia and like I should have just been like totally appreciative of anything but like in my dream I just had this really bad reaction to finding out it was a boy and so I kind of woke up in a panic and I'm like what if it's a boy what if it's I what if I have that reaction like that that would be terrible and <clears throat> you know I really didn't have to worry about it because Cece was a girl and I found out it was all girl stuff so it was fine the night before my gender reveal so Wednesday night my husband found out Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday he found out, and then Thursday we did the gender reveal. <clears throat> so Wednesday night I went to sleep, I was really anxious, I was super excited to find out the gender, and I had a dream that I popped the balloon, which is what we did, we did a golden snitch from Harry Potter, popped the balloon, and it was a girl, but right after I found out it was a girl, I had pricked my finger with the, the needle that I was using. And so my reaction was all about the pain I was feeling and not really about the gender of the baby. Like I was so distracted from the pain that I didn't even react that it was a girl. So I was really like upset with myself that I had like a sort of negative reaction. And I had told my husband like, I'd be fine if, they, if this baby was a girl, I would be fine. Like, Having two girls would be great. She could reuse all the clothes. Like, it's awesome. Um, so I really didn't feel like I had that mentality of like, I want a boy. Like, I definitely wanted a boy, but I was like, I have to have a boy, otherwise I'll be upset. Um, and then it turned out to be boy, and so it was like exactly what I wanted. But also, I had felt like it was a boy from early on. And I would have been more shocked, I think, that if I popped that balloon and it was pink, I would have been probably shocked, but I still would have been super thrilled and super happy. Um, so yeah, we have a little boy growing inside of me, which is so weird. Like, I remember pre being pregnant with Cece thinking like, if I have a boy, it's fine. Like, I have three older brothers. My husband comes from all boys, so like he has two brothers. Um, I'm comfortable with boy stuff, like doing boy stuff, that's fine. Um, and then it turned out to be a girl and I was like, I love girl stuff too, so it was great. Um, and now I just feel like I don't know any different other than Cecilia, like, oh, it, it kind of doesn't like stress me out in a bad way, but it's kind of stressful thinking like, it's gonna be different it's gonna be so different <laughs> which is just weird and fine like I'm gonna love it I can't wait to meet him and all that stuff we haven't even talked about names really um, because of the house hunting stress because of all the stuff that goes on with that kind of thing we just we, it's sort of been on the back burner which I know we have time I'm only 15 weeks so <laughs> I'm sure we'll get time to talk about it and really delve into 
boy names, but for right now, it's just baby boy. <laughs> and that's all we're really doing. It is weird to me to think, like, inside my girl parts, I'm making boy parts. To me, like, that, like, blows my mind. Um, so, yeah. I think that's my whole entire update. I've rambled so long. Sorry. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you. Oh, I should probably do, like, baby stats. Baby is the size of an avocado if you're doing the fruit vegetable app, um, or it's the size of a crayon box, like an eight crayon box, which is pretty big. Um, yeah, or a yellow canary, I think was the other example. Um, baby's legs are longer than arms, so like way more human-like. <laughs> and yeah, baby is growing rapidly which is exciting. All right, guys, I love you all, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.